Hello, you're on Polo Spot. I'm George. Welcome to this series on application and infrastructure code security. And today's episode is a show and tell on scanning Docker images using Snake on Docker. So if this episode and the content on this channel lines up with your interest, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So let's start coding. On my very first episode of Dev Scoops, which you can access right here, I talked about how you can run vulnerability scans on Docker images. I'm going to implement this on my event-driven application and verify if my Docker images are safe from security threats. So as always, I'm going to make sure that I have the latest set of code on my local machine. And then I'll create a branch for today's changes. To run Docker image scan on my machine, I need the Docker images available locally. So the first thing I need to do is build all my Docker images. And in order to appreciate cases when my Docker images have security threats or vulnerabilities that need to be fixed, I'm going to update my base image to an old version to force my scans to fail. So I'm going to go and open my Docker configuration files for both my backend and worker service on the applications directory. So on my explorer, And now I'm going to build both my backend and worker Docker images. So I'm going to open my terminal. So building my backend Docker image is done. So let me just quickly have a look. So I now have my backend Docker image on my local machine. Now I'm going to build my worker image. The Docker build for my worker image is also done. So let me just quickly check all my images on my local machine. So with both my Docker images built, I can now run vulnerability scans on these images. On my DevScoops episode, I ran Docker image scans using the built-in Docker scan command. I'm not going to use this. Instead, I'm going to use a Snyk Docker container. And in order to better explain what is involved in running the scan with a Snyk Docker container, I'll write this in a wrapper script. I'm going to create my wrapper script inside the application directory. I need the Snyk Docker container to have access to the Docker images on my local machine. And so I need to give the Docker container access to my local Docker sock file. I also need to pass the original Docker configuration file to make sure that the manifest is included in the scan. So I need to mount the path to where this script is located to the Docker container. And then I need to update the command to include the file argument that points to the original Docker configuration file. I want this command to also generate a SARI file. So that's all the contents of the wrapper script that I need to set. Now I need to update the file permission to this script and make it executable. Before I can start running my scans, I need to make sure that I export my sneak token on my session. I'm going to set this outside of this video, so I'll see you on the flip side. So now I'm going to start running this script against my backend Docker image. The scan is complete, so if I expand my terminal, I get vulnerability hits on the result, which means my Docker image is exposed to some security threats. My run should also generate a SARI file, so if I expand my explorer, there's this new file that's generated called backend.scan.sari file. So if I open that file, it gives me all the vulnerability findings in a JSON format. Now, if I go back to my terminal and run my scan on my worker Docker image, I get the same security threats and vulnerability hits on the scan. And then if I open my explorer, there's a new file called worker.scan.sari file. If I open that file, it shows me all the vulnerability findings in JSON format. 
Next thing I'll do is revert my changes on both my backend and worker Docker configuration file. And then I'm going to rebuild my Docker images. With both my backend and worker Docker images rebuilt, I'm now going to try to rerun the scan. My console straight away says no vulnerabilities found for my backend image, but I'm going to run my scan for my worker service before I check the SARI files. And I'm getting the same result for my worker Docker image. If I open my explorer and check the SARI files that are generated by my scan runs, the results are empty, which means my backend Docker image is free of vulnerabilities. And same thing for my worker Docker image. And that's it. On the next episode, I'll integrate these Docker image scans with my CI process. This is to ensure that my Docker images are safe from potential security threats before pushing to ECR. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like my content and help me spread the word about this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe.